In the world of football and that of art, Oscar Damiani has been a refined collector of eccentric beauty. Between the 70s and the 80s, he wore the shirts of Napoli, Juventus, Genoa, Milan and Lazio among others, winning one Scudetto with the Bianconeri. An atypical winger with a knack for scoring, he was nicknamed Flipper. I was lucky because I always played for big clubs. I scored lots of goals. I played for 10 clubs throughout my career. I even played for Cosmos in New York. Gianni Inverniti gave me this nickname when I was playing for the Inter Academy for two reasons. The first is because I would always go down to the bar below where we lived to play pinball or flipper. And also because I would move the ball between my feet like the pinball bumpers. And so that nickname stuck with me for the rest of my career. Once retired, Damiani went on to collect football talent. He was an agent to four Ballon d'Or winners, who lit up Serie A's modern era. George Weir, Jean-Pierre Papin, Zinedine Zidane, and Andrei Shevchenko. When I started in 1986, there weren't many of us. There was Branchini, Pasqualini, Caliendo. So I was a pioneer in this field and it was hugely satisfying. Maybe it gave me even more pleasure than when I was playing. You need great awareness. Just like in art, you need to discover, go to museums, go to auctions. You need to be well prepared. Nothing is left to chance, both as an agent and also as a collector of art. Damiani's headquarters in the center of Milan is home to part of his outstanding collection of modern art, including masterpieces from Anselm Kiefer, Gino De Dominicis, Lucio Fontana, and William Kentridge. I don't have an artistic background. I didn't study this. I come from a family of laborers that emigrated to Switzerland. And when I returned to Italy, the first money I earned at Vicenza went into buying works of art. For a 20-year-old, spending a whole month's earnings on art was quite something. It was a lot of money. I also like to buy cars. I never went without buying a few cars. But art gives me an immense amount of satisfaction. The most important thing is that I always bought with my heart and not with money in mind. Damiani shares a love for art with his friend and former teammate Fabio Capello, a well-known collector of Marc Chagall and Vasily Kandinsky. Both their minds were opened up to new horizons by the Swedish maestro and Milan's legendary coach, Niels Liedholm. Nils Liedholm was an extraordinary character. He didn't talk much, but when he did, everyone listened. He lived in Varese, he knew Lucio Fontana, and he made us all appreciate him too. Nils was very perceptive. He had a way of saying things that he only needed a word to make you understand how important the world of art is. He really taught us so much. The red and black colors of San Siro have a special place in Damiani's heart. A recent mural on the walls of the stadium impressed even his expert eye. I'm not a huge fan of street art, but I appreciate what it represents. I think the acts and gestures of a footballer can be compared to the achievements of an artist, because technically they both do amazing things. Zlatan Ibrahimovic! Lukaku with Hakimi to his right. He's only interested in going on his own, Lukaku! And look at that, Ibrahimovic! Lukaku holding off Luperto and turning away Romelu Lukaku! Also, the physical beauty of the works of art from, say, the 16th or 15th century could be compared to the athletic acts of footballers. Ibrahimovic reminds me of a classical artist, maybe Leonardo da Vinci, something that is really historic. And I would have to say that Lukaku is like Basquiat, because he has this power, this great strength. 
A clash of football creativity awaits Milan and Napoli on Sunday night at La Scala del Calcio. This experienced collector can't wait to enjoy the show. I have a lot of fondness for both teams because Napoli was a big part of my youth while Milan left its mark towards the end of my career. Here's Mario Rui. And Mertens! Helga with a chance here. And Helga has wrapped it up! As one who loves both teams, I really hope that it turns out to be a draw, but especially that it's a good game, just like when you go to see a wonderful exhibition.